Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. On today's feature, we're going to be taking a look at an application called TwoBird. Now, it is an application that aims to be your email, your project manager, also your to-do list reminders all in one application. I would say primarily an email experience with a few bolt-on applications. It's developed by the chaps at Ginger Labs who create a very popular application called Notability. So I wanted to give you my first impressions today. This is the first time I'm downloading it. Obviously, I've uh, been through the front page and sort of explored some of the collaborative functions and also the, the more personal functions. So I'll be giving you my opinion. It's available on Mac, Windows for the desktop users, and on iOS and Android, which is always great to see that they have the four major platforms. Now, you can use it for free. There is a premium coming in the future. Um, but essentially, if you're a Gmail user, this is going to get you started. So let's dive into today's video. Before we dive in, a little word from our sponsor. So this video is sponsored by Clean My Mac X. Now, if you're waiting for the impending release of macOS Catalina, then you'll want to be ready and organized. Now, Clean My Mac X is a powerful way to do just that. You can clean up your storage, files, and improve the speed of your CPU using this application. It does a smart scan, allowing you to get a report on all of the things that are slowing down your Mac, and you can get actionable steps on how to improve that just by clicking a few buttons. It's really, really powerful. I've used this application in the past, and it's been very valuable in terms of improving the speed of my Mac. Now, as you can imagine, there are a few things that I particularly like about it. The uninstaller is a fantastic feature. If you want to get rid of some old applications that you no longer use, you can use the batch uninstaller. The same with large files as well. Get rid of those big files that are taking up the massive amount of room, especially when I'm editing. Now, there is also a menu bar, which I really like. If you go up to the top, you can open this menu bar. And what's cool is it will give you like the Mac health. So you can actually see everything from your battery life to the CPU at that current moment in real time. And that's quite a nice little open window so that you can see how your Mac is getting on. Now you can get a license for Clean My Mac for $39.95 for the annual subscription. And you can also get a free trial to test out its powers available in the description below. But I really enjoy using Clean My Mac, so I recommend it highly. And I think you guys really enjoy it too. So a big thank you to Clean My Mac for sponsoring September 2019. Okay, so now we've got all the house notes over with. Um, I'm gonna click sign up and get started with my account. Essentially, what you have to do is log in through your Google account. And at the moment, it only connects through Google, um, Mail versus say, say G Suite. So I'm just gonna go through my Google account. So obviously, just make sure you're happy with the permissions that it's setting, obviously allowing you viewing and modifying as well as deleting your email. So always be careful and comfortable with what they're allowed to do. Okay, here we go. One thing I didn't mention before is that it also has a, a, a really well put together uh, web version. Now, one of the things I did is I initially spotted this through, I think it may have been Product Hunt. And then when I saw it was developed by Ginger Labs, I was actually pretty interested. So let's give you a bit of a tour around this application. So the great thing is, first off, the design is, is really attractive. On this left hand side, you have obviously inbox low priority, notes, and then you've got a bit more details in terms of your inbox, and you've also got reminders area. So let's start with the inbox. Here we have my Gmail account, nothing in there at the moment. And as you can see, you can go up to the top right hand corner and press message. So what's cool here is obviously you can go and type away a little message to someone if you want to, but you can also delete this one, attach a note, which I'll come on to in a second. You can attach a file, and even expand this. So in expanded, it makes it really clean to view and clean to go in a bit more detail. Let's just check whether there's any like text formatting options. If I highlight something, there's no dramatic text format formatting options straight away. But what's quite nice is when you go ahead and create something like a new message, whether you're sending it or receiving it or you're engaging with it, it will come up in the recent section, which is a toggable, tog toggleable, toggleable list which you can drop down, which is really handy. So if I give it a subject line of two bird review, you can see there that it comes up on that left hand side, which I think is quite nice. Now down here, if you've got any labels that you've connected stuff to, you can go into and find more detail about. 
So for example, I've got Sane Later, which is all of the sort of uh, signed emails that I get. So for example, here, you can see some of the emails that have come in. So let's click on, let's say uh, this one here. Let's say this twist email. So the twist email will come through in really good quality. Like that's just a regular sort of email quality. Up here, you've got the ability to search uh, within mail, which is very handy. You've got the ability to pin. So if I went ahead and pinned, you see that comes up as a new section up here, which I think is quite nice. So if you want to pin a specific email. So here I've also got remind, um, which will give me a snooze. So for example, this is just a snooze function. I really like the iconography as well as the ability you have there as well, seeing the, you know, today at a very specific time. You can even pick a day if you want to, which is very handy. And again, this is free. Like a lot of apps don't have snooze. Obviously you've got Gmail and uh, I was going to say Google Inbox then, but you don't actually have that now. So you can also unarchive it if you want to and mark as unread, as well as do a host of different things like change the label and even mark as unread or copy link, which is very handy. So let's go to this low priority section as well. So you can also see it brings less important emails into here. So you can see here that this uh, Google security alert came up and you can archive it as well if you want to. Now let's get back to the inbox. Obviously I've got nothing in there, but I'm gonna go up here and press note because I'm very intrigued at how these notes work because obviously once you're wanting to build a few notes around your email, I, I reckon that'd be quite cool to do. So let's say I wanted to start adding a task list, maybe like things to do today. To do today should not be allowed to type anything and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding a checklist below so you can see there you can add a checklist which you can move around like you, you can move the status of things around you can add a table which I guess is really handy if you're looking to add a bit more detail um, for example maybe a bit more detail about project and you can also assign uh, a certain task to someone that is inside your email which is very handy now you've also got the ability to add a comment as well. So if you wanted to share this, a note, a specific note, then it becomes very handy because you can copy the link up here and paste it into the email. Now the notes actually appear as emails, so you can go in, add more, which is very nice. So it's almost like having sort of a task list and I can do the same regular thing like pinning. So if I go out uh, of to inbox, I can see and I can quickly access that pin. Now notes can be accessible through this notes sort of list area and of course I can see the welcome to uh, note, uh, welcome to two bird note example. So everything's tickable um, which makes it easy and I can even assign it to someone, in this case myself, but you know you can actually tag an email uh, to that person. So what's very cool is it's, it, I would say it's very simplistic to start off with. You've also got dark mode as well, so I, th I think that's quite a nice detail that they've added there. If I went ahead and archive that, that means it goes away. But that's really it for now. Like in terms of the functions, you've got a very basic inboxing ability. So being able to create and, and produce emails. But what I quite like about it is I guess it's like pretty lightweight and having reminders or snoozes on there, and that's really handy. I know a lot of people like to have their notes inside their email because it can get quite stressful during the day. And maybe that would be something that is attractive to you, especially having a potential checklist of stuff that you need to get done for the day pinned to your email. So the pinning is quite nice. And I guess if you don't have a service like Samebox, which I use, you might want to use the low priority tool that filters all your email. But again, this is something I don't know whether it's trained or not in terms of being able to detect what is low priority. So, um, but I, I'm sure the, the sort of system picks out really relevant ones. Now what's cool as well is you can still access all the draft stuff so you can actually see like, um, you know, what 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 actually is there uh, in terms of detail. The one thing I'd say is that uh, the quality of the, the text formatting for sending emails isn't that good. But for example, if I wanted to send a note of like things to do, it appears really nicely in line. Um, that's what I quite liked about it just before when I was testing it. It just looked really, really attractive and sending a note to someone. So guys, let's just go into settings quickly and show you a few of the more advanced abilities. So you do have the bundling uh, to appear inside. So you can have it bundled or uh, any low priority mail inside of your inbox, or you can have a separate area for that. Or you can have do uh, send and archive automatically, which I particularly like. And you can also have a uh, quick reply set up, uh, external images changes made there. You can also have something called tidy up as well, which produces threads periodically. 
to create a more succinct email inbox. Now you also can add more Gmail accounts if you want to. The reminders can be really uh, customized. And if you want to learn the formatting, which wasn't available through, um, say, the bottom bar, you can learn it in uh, Markdown. I believe that's Markdown, or at least keyboard shortcuts at the very least. You've got a few information here, so you can say, obviously, it's created by the chap set. Notability, and of course, this is very early days application, and uh, I appreciate everyone for tagging me um, in this message. And of course, I try to check out many of the apps that you guys like to look at. And of course, this is very early days, but a very nice looking application, and I'll definitely be keeping an eye on it. So guys, a big thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. I would love to have you back for another video here on Keep Productive. Anyway, guys, cheers, everyone. Bye.